Hi guys, Maggie Make It Go here with another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at taking care of the ventilation gap that's in some bathroom or toilet windows. So here in Australia, some of the older houses have a toilet window where you can't open the window, um, but there is a piece of perspex or glass, but it doesn't quite fill the entire gap. So previously there was a piece of netting screen here, um, but when we bought the house it somehow disappeared and we actually taped it up so that no insects or bugs could get inside. Um, and I need to rectify that because it is important to have a ventilation gap there. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. We put out videos every Friday on how to do things, how to make things go, DIY, crafts, business advice, and home improvements such as this one. If there's anything you would like me to do a video on, please let me know in the comments. So as you can see, we used some quite thick gaffer tape to tape it up, and it was like that for, to be honest, a year or so. When we decided to fix it properly, uh, we were also doing the window frames, so there will be a separate video on that. As you can see from the outside, there is the gap there. So I drew up this map with these dots uh, just to try and figure out how I was going to attach the metal frame and the netting and seal everything. I then went down to my local hardware store, which was Bunnings, and I got a piece of angle iron. Um, sorry, not angle iron, it's aluminium, but it's an angle cut of, of aluminium, an L shape, a 90 degree um, right angle piece of aluminium. So it's not that thick, it's only about one millimeter thick, and I tried to get it as narrow as possible in both directions. This was a square angle. I actually got them to cut it to length. Um, so I measured the window and then when so make sure you get them to cut it to the right length it makes things so much easier um, I would advise going about half a millimeter or one millimeter under what you want it to be um, or really just try and get it bang on um, depending on the person that's cutting it you want to make sure that it's not too long otherwise you're going to be filing it at home which is not a fun job at all. Um, I then just marked up a few screw holes. I used a hole punch um, to just guide where the drill had to go and I used a 3.5 millimeter drill bit. Now when you have a look at bolts and screws it will say on the packet what size drill bit you should be using. I also picked up some netting. Now I chose to use fiberglass netting and that was so that it was strong and sturdy against any winds that we were going to get. The vent itself is quite high to the eaves so it is quite protected but I still wanted a strong piece of mesh. I then lined that up in between the aluminium pieces that I had and I just used some super glue to glue it together. I used the Sally's Quick Fix Super Glue. I did make sure, um, I tried to make it straight, but you'll see that I didn't actually get it quite straight. Um, and it didn't matter if I had a little bit of overlap um, because I could just cut that off. I then put my bolts through all the way across so it was neat and tidy. The next step I did I didn't actually show here but I drilled pilot holes in the window frame itself so I put the piece of fabric up um, the mesh contraption that I'd made I put that up lined it into the place where I wanted and used a 
texter or sharpie or permanent marker just to mark where all the holes were and I then um, removed the screen and used the drill to drill pilot holes so that when I did actually attach it, it was easier to put the screws in. Now you will need to use, um, I think they're called cheese head screws, not tapered screws. You don't want sunken screws um, because this is into metal, it's not into timber. So you don't want the V-shaped screws you want the ones with the big knobbly head on so what I did then is I then got um, some silicon and um, just a silicon paste and I a Stanley knife and I cut the fiberglass mesh to the right size I put a strip of silicon along the outside of the window and screwed the mesh all into place and sealed down the sides. It was pretty fiddly and tricky and I didn't take many photos of when I was doing it um, but here is the finished result. You can see that the window frame is now a dark blue on the outside and white on the inside and it's clearly separated by that mesh and the aluminium bracket that we made. Um, in this photo you can't, I didn't actually this is before I'd put the screws in. So it is missing a few bolts in this photo. So that's it. We've had a few um, big storms since it was installed and it's still going strong. So I would highly recommend doing that. You want to make sure that you use as strong a mesh as possible and make sure that everything's secured as much as you can. You can see I've got quite a wide band of the silicon that's um, essentially gluing it down um, and I did leave a little extra bit of mesh at either end and sort of pressed that into the slot where the glass goes as well. So everything is completely as secure as possible. That's all from me. Please subscribe to our channel if you would like to see some more videos.